How do you believe is the best way for children to become more resilient? I think one of the ways you can help your families find what works for them in resilience is to let them fail. You know, we often talk about this, but it's really true to let them struggle, do things wrong, work out um, how that's impacted them and what they could do differently. And I think as a parent, you can certainly draw their attention to it. Um, So if they've got through a particularly tough time, it's definitely worth pointing that out to them saying, you know, hey, a few few weeks ago, you were really down in the dumps or you were just completely frazzled by this thing that was looming in your life, a friendship concern or, you know, a big exam or something. You know, I want to draw your attention to the fact that 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 state isn't permanent and that you've got through it. And look, it's great Mm -hmm. to see you laughing again. And um, let's hold on to that for all of us in life that we get these dips and um, peaks and troughs. And that is part of living. So I think it's important to normalize it. Um, And you can also build their self-efficacy, which is part of the bedrock of um, our capacity for resilience by pointing out to them when they're going through something tough where they might have navig- had to navigate something similar or not even that similar, but where they've gone through something in the past and remind get them to remind themselves of what were the ways of thinking and acting mm. that helped them then um, and building up that self-efficacy in them, that confidence is what self-efficacy is, um, confidence that they can get through this current challenge based on past experience is definitely um, a good way that that parents can build resilience in their children. Do you believe in the statement from your own experience of grief, this too shall pass? Um, I do. Well, so, yeah, I mean, I used to use a slide with Gandalf saying this too shall pass. Um, I think it is because that is part of giving people hope Mm. and belief that they can get through something, that it won't always be this way. I think it is an important way to reduce that sense of helplessness that we are travelling down a road that has many ups and downs and many adventures and there will be roadblocks and U-turns and all of that, and that actually is just part of the typical life, and that this too shall pass, meaning that there will come a time when this particular challenge is in your rear view mirror. 